last week, I think it happened last Sunday when we were doing the stream, or maybe it happened on Saturday, but it still hadn't made it big. Um, uh, this lady, Hatun Tash, yes. who is a Christian missionary and a Christian preacher, uh, she was wearing a Charlie Hebdo uh, T-shirt, not showing Prophet Muhammad, but it said something like love wins or something like that. Some some very political message, but but nothing to do with Islam. Uh, but we know Charlie Hebdo is kind of a no-no say word. She was wearing that and she was attacked in the heart of free speech uh, called Speaker's Corner in Hyde Park, which yes. was established in the 1870s or something with oh. the sole purpose that you can say anything. You can yes. speak against the queen you can speak against the king and may God ruin whatever, the Britain or whatever. That was the main purpose of that. So an idea that was facilitated by the West nearly 150 years ago is now under threat yes. in the 21st century. And the reason is one religion, Islam. So... She was attacked, and I was uh, interviewed, and I and I was called to uh, by Russia today to speak about the issue. So I was interviewed a little bit. So I'll play this video um, to you and see what uh, how Russia today actually covered it. So have a look. Look at this. A woman believed to be a vocal critic of Islam has been stabbed in London. The incident happened at Hyde Park's famous Speaker's Corner. Her injuries are not said to be life-threatening, but you may find the following video disturbing. This footage shows a large group of people gathered in the park. The victim is towards the back. A man dressed in black can be seen violently striking the woman. What happened? Well, while the authorities and major media outlets did not name the victim or give any specific details, bloggers and activists identified her as 39-year-old Hatun Tash. She is said to have fled Turkey after renouncing Islam for Christianity and was regularly seen preaching in Hyde Park. Previously, the woman was escorted by police from the park over fear of attacks against her and was even banned from Speaker's Corner after a number of threads. One thing that hasn't gone on notice, though, is that the time of the attack, she was wearing a Shirley Hebdo T-shirt. This is a T-shirt that she was wearing, Love is Stranger Than Hate. And RT, uh, my interview with them was uh, about, uh, I don't know, probably I say about seven, six, seven minutes or something. Uh, but obviously, they're not going to cover all the parts. But it seems quite clear that the RT was focusing on the point that British media and the government is afraid to talk about that this is a religiously inspired um, attack. Now, anyone can join the dots. It's not that hard to work it out. Uh, she's a Christian missionary, quite provocative when it comes to criticizing Islam. Uh, she famously, after... Uh, uh, Yasser Qadi said the, the standard narrative has holes uh, the, about the preservation of the Quran. So uh, she went to Hyde Park uh, and she actually had a copy of the Quran and it had holes in it. <laughs> so, um, so, she, so she does kind of um, go after uh, the, 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 quite provocatively again at Speaker's Corner. But obviously that doesn't mean that you should be attacked. You, you, she's right. using words. You should use your words. So uh, so RT was focusing, emphasizing on the point that British media is afraid, and they were quite right. Um, uh, they didn't mention British media, Guardian, BBC. I think uh, they spoke about it, but they didn't mention her name. I think only Daily Mail a day after mentioned her by name and showed the photo um, uh, of Hadun Tash. Uh, police chief also said that don't, we don't know anything. We don't want to uh, say anything about it. In the video, you can see uh, that she was, uh, when she was stabbed, this guy tried to stab her multiple times. She, um, uh, the guy just ran off, a couple of people chased, and the police was right there. They went after him. And how did they escape? I've seen, I'm sorry, I've seen so many police videos in America where some really oversized American cops, they chased them down. So quite slim and fit uh, perpetrators were running, but they catch them. 
Howcome, in the heart of London, the most filmed, the, the, the city with most cameras in the world that they like to brag about. They still haven't caught him. Um, so my comment is... We, we live in these funny times where we think that if we mention atrocities like this, uh, that would be somehow viewed as Islamophobic or some sort of a bigotry or racism. The British public, or at least the government, is afraid to still talk about this issue. And as I said, less we talk about it, worse this problem is going to get. Uh, I'm, I'm actually genuinely worried that these kind of things are going to happen a lot more unless we have a genuine, honest discussion about this, that blasphemy has a place in a free society. So, uh, and, and th th this is my genuine opinion, that um, uh, you have to speak about it openly, honestly. Freedom of speech is the cornerstone of Western civilization. Whether that's the queen or your prime minister or your president, we are allowed to criticize it. We are, we're using words and you should be allowed to use your words too. Um, but as I said, it, it's a shame that nearly 150 year old tradition of uh, Britain and the Western world in general. Um, uh, it's not an attack on Hatun Tash alone. It's an attack on British culture of free speech, Hyde Park, Speaker's Corner. And as I said, how many times, uh, yes, it, it, people are allowed to hackle, people are allowed to shout and whatever. The, the, it gets pretty rough. I can understand that. But this sh must be taken very seriously. John, as a British, what, what do you have to say? You're, you're absolutely right. The, the police have been a bit of a disappointment in this case and in others. In my Global Atheist News, which you can see on my Free Thought uh, Productions channel, I reported a few weeks ago about some um, fundamentalist Muslims in London making outrageous statements, calling on uh, some mufti to be executed or something, and the police were right there, walking alongside them, ignoring it. I, I, don't, I can't support that. I'm sorry. Obviously, I mean, it's it just uh, this whole culture of executions and the silencing people. I'm sorry, it's directly coming from Islam, from the teachings of Islam. The only difference is, I know, I mean, Christianity would discourage that kind of conversation as well. But the only difference is Islam is still deeply embedded in the psyche of its followers and its believers. Obviously not everyone, but those who still believe in that, they're directly getting it. And there's no way across. Uh, the, 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 there's no way you can tell that hold on to both of them simultaneously. Because if you understand Islam, you're going to be homophobic. You're going to be transphobic. You're going to be misogynist. You're going to be anti-free speech. Yes. That's just, that's just is. The only way to get people out of that is if they are shown repeatedly how atrocious the ideology, the core of Islam is. That's the only way. And unfortunately, it's a catch-22. So when you talk about it, then you open yourself for attacks. By the way, I actually, yesterday, I was at British Museum. Those of you who actually follow me on Instagram would know that. I was yesterday at B British Museum, and I accidentally ran into Hatun Tash of all, the, of all mm. people. How weird and bizarre is that? So mm. she was with a friend. And I just looked at her and I gave that look that I recognized. Her tune didn't see me. The, her friend who was with her saw me and then she quickly ran to her tune and said something in her ear that maybe she probably got nervous that, oh, there's a Muslim looking man with a beard coming at you. Um, and I just, and I walked very calmly. I knew that this could be a tr very traumatic experience for her. Yeah. So I walked up to her and I said, hi, Hatun, how are you? I'm uh, Harris Sultan. I, I said that and I think she didn't, pick up on it straight away so she was a little bit yes what do you want okay oh. Oh. so we we exchanged a couple of sentences oh. and i was just trying my best to introduce her and i was just trying to show my sympathy and solidarity oh. with her but i think because she didn't in instantly register and i don't know what the girl had told in her mind so yeah. she was like just keeping a distance a bit bit cautious oh. of me um oh. and then she said i was i was just about to turn around i was like okay maybe she just doesn't know me and she probably is still um, she probably still thinks that I'm a threat, maybe. So I was just about to turn around and I was about to leave. And then she said, sorry, what's your name again? I said, my name is Harris Sultan. And then she was like, 
oh yes yes i know you and then all of a sudden she, she opened up and yes. um and, and then we exchanged ideas and i spoke about it and um, mm. and she asked me how long i'd been in england or uh, and that or what she was doing there mm. she was we, yes. i met her in the part where uh, christianity in britain and rome part roman christianity was being uh, the artifacts and related parts were, were there so um that was being discussed um and uh, so she was saying that, that some roman artifacts you could look up the history of christianity and all that so i was like okay I said, but then i just made a joke i said i'm more interested in uh evolutionary part of that uh, which for that i need to go to the natural history museum she's like she rolled her eyes <laughs> so obviously she's a hardcore christian and uh which is which is how it should be right i mean there should be a funny banter or whatever but it should the, the reason how it can go to that extreme just shows you the, the the primitive nature of certain people we're all guilty of judging people instantly on their appearance unfortunately and th this is the origin of racism and religionism and I'm, the trouble is that there's some fundamentalist terrorist muslims who have given your appearance a bad name harris well, exactly. I mean, I, you know, like, I mean, uh, it, it's like, despite the fact that, you know, like I have to go through those random security checks at the airport <laughs> and I'm like, mate, I am the exact opposite. Yes, yes, yes. But that's well, okay. You know what? But, but, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, yes. I, I don't, I don't mind that. And I think this is, I, I see that as a, a, as an opportunity or as a responsibility to clean up the mess. I have never been a, a target or, or a victim of racism. I've always said it. Uh, there might be something in the mind if someone is a bit reluctant uh, because of the baggage that my uh, people who look like me have put that baggage on me, yes. despite of yes. all of that. Um, yes. I'm I'm okay with that. It, it, and 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 I and I was and I was quite shocked. I was like, Hatun, look what happened to you. Um, and you are just roaming around freely in, in, in this museum and are you, aren't you worried about another attack? But then, you know, she, she drew her part, which obviously I disagree with. She said, no, it wasn't my time. Jesus watching over me and Jesus, uh, if it's my time's up, Jesus will be there and no one would be able to solve, which is kind of a very similar view to uh, some Muslims that I've met. Um, that it's not my time. Allah is watching over me. And if my time is here, no one can. There's a famous saying that the, the night that you're going to spend in the grave, you're never going to spend it outside, no matter how, how what security you have and all that, which is, you know, like a very uh, self-fulfilling prophecy and kind of a circular argument that if you're killed, you're killed. And you say, my time was up. And if you if you survive somehow, then you say, my time wasn't there. So uh, for that, I just say, well, why do you look both sides of the road when you try to cross the road? And just, just, just go. If you, it's your time, it's your time. Yeah. So anyway, that, that that's just that part. Again, the, uh, kind of digressing from the main topic. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.